Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate tentacles or flexible limbs for octopus or squids in After Effects with the help of the Twig Basil plugin. And also there is a bonus content by the end of this tutorial, so make sure to watch till the end. Now let's check out how to prepare the illustration file for animation in After Effects. So this is the octopus illustration that I'm going to import in After Effects for animation. And here you can notice that the tentacles are exactly straight with spiky fill on it. There isn't any curvature over here. So we are going to add that curvature with the help of the puppet pins in After Effects itself. So like this, you can prepare the illustration file for animation in After Effects. Now let's jump into After Effects and start with the animation process. So this is one tentacle for this octopus. And first we are going to add one ruler at the exact center of this tentacle. Now select this layer and we are going to add some pins over here. Now we are going to convert the pins into the bone layer. So for that, click on effect and select this puppet and then turn on the Twig Basil plugin and then under the links and constraints, you can find add bone, click on it. Okay, so now we are going to rig this with the help of the auto rig. So for that, you have to select the bone at the tip and then press and hold the shift key and select the last one and then click on auto rig. Now we have to change those settings over here a bit. So we can increase the flexibility to about 112. Let's give the resistance and let's decrease it to about 6. And let's give the curvature of about 5. Now if we rotate it, it is going to have some distortion like this. Now we have to animate this. But before that, we are going to hide all these bone layers because we don't need it anymore. And we can shy it out. After that, let's put a rotation keyframe over here at 0. And let's jump on to around over here and we're going to rotate it this side. And here, let's rotate slightly this side. Now we're going to add a loop expression, which is loop out. And inside the brackets, we're going to add ping pong. Okay, so there is some resistance over here when it is rotating this side. So for that, we can increase the resistance value over here to about 15. Now let's check it. Okay, so like this, you can animate a tentacle for octopus. And for the squids, I have used the exact same technique as this one. I have added few puppet pins and then converted the pins into the bone layer and then rigged it with the help of the auto rig in Twig Basil. And then added rotation property and added loop expression to get the results like this. So now let's check out how to animate the tentacles for the jellyfish. So here is the tentacle for the jellyfish which we can animate. So it is a simple straight line and let's pre-comp it first. Let's change the composition settings a bit. Okay, so we're going to convert this layer into a shape layer. So now we're going to apply an effect called the wave warp effect. So select the effect and place it over here. And we're going to change the painting and select the top edge. And let's change it the direction to zero right now it is going to look something like this okay so we're going to change the direction to minus 80 so we need the opposite direction and then we have to vary the height and the width let's increase the wave width and let's give the height to around 12. yeah this one looks better now if you want a variation in the wave then we can even add a wiggle expression in the wave width. So press and hold the alt key and click on this stopwatch and we're going to add a wiggle expression. So it is going to be 1 comma 40. Let's check it how it looks. 
Okay, let's decrease the amount. So like this you can animate the tentacles for the jellyfish. So it's the time for the bonus content of this video. And here we are going to learn how to animate bubbles. Okay, so first we are going to add a circle shape. Let's change the color to exact white. And let's rename to C1. And we're going to move the anchor point to exact center. Let's place it over here and we're going to put a keyframe on position and put a keyframe on scale. And then we're going to move on somewhere around here and we're going to move the bubble over here. So we're going to adjust the motion path and put the keyframe on the scale. And here we're going to give it around zero. Not exactly zero, let's give it 8%. And over here, we are going to slightly increase the size. And here we are going to decrease the size. Let's easy is the keyframes. And we are going to convert this keyframe into the roving keyframe. I think we can slow it down a bit. So select all the keyframes and drag it. Okay, now we are going to add the loop expression. Let's add the loop expression in the scale as well. And right now we are going to duplicate the layers multiple times. So we are also going to vary the time offset it and even vary the motion path a bit. And like this, you can animate bubbles without using any effect or plugin just by using shape layers. Okay, so that is it for this video. But do let me know if you want to learn something specific from this animation project. I would be happy to make a separate tutorial on that. And I also have a separate tutorial on how to animate the fish. So do check it out. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I'll be happy to help you out. And if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.